Well, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back. We are planting in the garden today. Last video you saw we got some plants on our new arched trellis. And today we are planting tomatoes and peppers. So we've got two rows of tomatoes this year and more tomato plants than I had last year, which I said I was going to reduce the number this year and that didn't happen. I just can't. Um, but we've got two rows and in this row I've got 15 plants. In this row I've got 12 plants, all represented by the red cups. And I've got four different types. Um, I've got Rebecca Allen, which is a slicing tomato. I've got Roma here. I've got um, the Brad's Grape Tomato and Chadwick Cherry, which I grew last year and we loved them. Um, but all of these uh, we ordered online from Baker's Creek. Um, so 27 plants. So they were looking pretty sad um, in the greenhouse and I couldn't wait to get them in the ground. They were getting root bound and I couldn't keep them wet enough in the greenhouse. So they're not looking that great, um, but they're looking better than they were earlier. We added some Epsom salt to them and to see if that might help a little bit, but um, yeah, they really needed to get in the ground ASAP. So we're working in between rain rainstorms uh, that seem to be, according to radar, just popping up right over top of us. Um, but we are going to work on getting these peppers planted. And I've just got two types. I've got a red bell and a um, yellow bell pepper that I'm going to plant. Last year we did some hot peppers and I haven't done any of those yet this on a, from seed on our own. Maybe we'll add some if we buy some plants later, but these are just red peppers and bell pepper or red and yellow bell peppers. Um, and these are one of my favorite things to grow. They always look good and healthy as far as the plant itself. Uh, like I said, the tomatoes were not looking good in the greenhouses in the greenhouse and these look pretty good. Um, and not only that, but we seem to be able to grow these pretty well. <laughs> it's one of the things that we have a lot of success with, but we eat bell peppers in a lot of different dishes. So what I do, and I've never grown this many, so this is going to be a lot for us, but what I normally do is um, as I'm harvesting them, I will cut them up and then freeze them, um, chopped and uh, some of them sliced for just depending on the different dishes we're going to use them for, but we love them. Is that pepper king of the north? It is. I thought that was John Snow. <laughs> You're doing great work, dear. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got all of the pepper plants in, and as you can see, it worked out better for us to scoop some of the topsoil towards the rows where the plants were going to be because we didn't have a lot of topsoil here, and it was just a little bit of chicken manure that we added to this area. Um, so what we'll do is we will get some wood chips and spread them here in between the rows and then also around the plants to um, help with the weeds, keeping the weeds at bay. And it also retains moisture, so that helps us not have to water as often. So the next thing I'm gonna do is plant calendula in the tomato beds. And calendula has a lot of good benefits. Um, one, it deters pests and specifically the tomato worm. Um, and so it is good to plant with tomatoes and I've started some here in the greenhouse and um, they're also the they are of the marigold family and um, they're good for for many pests but they're also good to eat 
so the flowers are edible and um, anyway so I'm just going to inter intersperse those here amidst these two tomato beds <laughs> so you almost had it there had the whole thing but I don't want it to topple over yeah, on my so flowers. Let it fall over into my hand. Okay, now move the bolt. Still crumpled some. Now this is fun. Find the calendula. The calendula. So you go ahead, I'll bring you some. You go to your spots and I'll bring it to you. That's why I want to be in line with these tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say the middle of the row, how's that? <laughs> it's hard to see when you're down here, so <laughs> tell me I even got some sunflowers put in the ground for me. They were so wanting out of their cups at the ends here of the trellis and at the other ends too. Yay! <laughs> so I think we've had a pretty productive day today. Um, we got our peppers and our tomato plants even though Timber decided he was going to eat one of my tomatoes. Um, fortunately with 87 plants in the greenhouse I was able to replace it. Um, but anyway, um, he's been kicked out of the garden and hope he's going to be kept out there. But we got peppers planted here, tomatoes planted here. Um, we have our beans and things, carrots that we had planted a couple of weeks ago. Our trellis is done today, or a couple of them done to finish today. Um, so things that we have left to do, we need to bring in some more soil for... Um, our second set of arch trellises to be able to plant some squash and some noodle beans. And then we've got some more area behind the camera there that's going to need some more soil as well. So we've still got things like watermelon and pumpkins that we are planning to get into the ground. We've also got this whole first row that hasn't been planted yet. I'm not positive what that's going to be filled with yet. Um, we also have permanent beds that we're wanting to put in place uh, against this front fencing here and partially back on the sides here that we also need to build that and bring that into the garden um, and then fill those with soil as well. So I think we're going to call it a day and get started again maybe tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> Thanks everybody for joining us.